and I noticed it's past the hour, <laughs> but happy Saturday, early Sunday morning, everybody. Um, and usually I have it printed out what session this is, it's 90 something or other. Um, but we are about to be entertained, informed, um, amused, amazed <laughs> at all the things Lorenz usually does for us. Um, Lorenz has been square dancing. We've had him before, so I've, I'm reading my notes from the last time, but it's been 38 years uh, Oh, that he's been dancing and started calling a few years later. He's a uh, Accredited Caller Lab Caller Coach. Was it Emeritus already, Lawrence? Yes, yes. Because I, through Corona and, and all the others, I stuff, I I couldn't. But I will I will actively come back, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, um, and, and I'm jealous that you've gotten that because I didn't do the paperwork to get the third time, so I can't become Emeritus. Um, two times was the paperwork is more than I can handle. <laughs> um, Back in, in the day when WinHash was the go-to uh, computer software for doing choreography or watching things going on, um, we can credit Lorenz with that because he programmed that and made it available for us. Um, he's currently keeping us all safe because he's working outside of square dancing in, in cybersecurity. Um, and he's also keeping himself hidden. Lawrence, you're, you should have a light on your face so we can see you better. <laughs> I'm not, I don't mean to pick on you quite this early, but um, that'll probably help. Yeah, that helps. Zoom adjusted. Um, and I've known Lorenz since I met him in, in Germany in caller school several times, um, the last of which was a very impressive talk he did on sequence. I, I still would love to have him do that here. I thought sequence, yeah, you're either you're in or, in or out, but he blew my mind with what you could think about. So to have your minds blown again, <laughs> without <coughs> further rambling from me, let's have a big hand for Lorenz Cooley from Germany. <laughs> Take it away, Lorenz. <laughs> yes, no, thank you. So I'm. Uh... If I see the audience, I, it's more preaching to the choir, right? It's like everybody is very much experienced. And this is a, a session I prepared for, for uh, newer callers uh, who, who start in their, yeah, in their early career. But anyway, it's, uh, it's been recorded. Uh, some others will, will hopefully uh, learn from it or, or get some ideas of it. And you can maybe help me to uh, polish this or give me feedback if you think this is worth um, yeah, looking at, or you say, ah, no, it's, it's the wrong approach. I'm open-minded and always try to get uh, better things. So I prepared a small presentation. Let's go over this maybe for 20, 25 minutes and then uh, open a discussion um, and, 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 and see if we could get and can share uh, some ideas. So let me share my screen and let me know if you if you see something. We see it. And I'll have the link to this in just a sec. Okay. Do you see the, the main main? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the idea is like analyzing a call sheet and I, I was trying to figure out another approach of accomplishing the same thing because I think it's very important to know the figures that we use. Um, and as you know, and I got this from the Caller Lab website, um, the analyzing a call sheet, I think you are familiar with it. Um, have you used it in the past maybe as a question? Who did or? Have you filled out a couple of these in your early career? Lorenz, in, in fact, we had a session many few years ago on here where some woman who relatively new has modified it and 
added a bunch of things she thought were worthwhile, and, and we had a discussion with her presenting her ideas. But oh. that would be Janet Lewis. Yeah. Okay, yeah, love to see and, and, and make a reference to it. Perfect. Um, I, I did a couple of these myself, and at that time when I did this, I found this very boring, to be honest, because it's like copying the caller lab definition, but I myself, I only can speak for myself, but I was copying it and not understanding it. Yeah, or uh, must dancers be facing? I said, yeah, of course, pass through dancers must be facing, right? I mean, what, a, what is this really telling me? So I thought maybe I can come up with a different approach that is a little more interactive or, or gaining your learning, learning experience. So the, the idea is first to find another way that hopefully, and that's open for discussion, with, will accomplish the same as filling out the analysis call sheet. So choose any, and that's the, the, the exercise, choose any square dance figure and find a setup with full phaser that the, the square will resolve from where you can call the chosen figure, which ends into a right and left grand. So as an example, let's talk about swing through. Uh, the exercise is first to find the setup. Um, and the first one you see on the left side is heads lead right and step to a wave. When I call swing through from here, I can continue with the right and left grand and the, the square will be resolved. So the trick is you need to analyze what is swing through doing, have right, have left, what are possible starting formations, uh, what is the call actual doing, what is a good call also to set up, and uh, I, I talk a little bit about in a minute, is uh, from any call in the mainstream and plus an advanced list, I have not, uh, I, I, we don't need to use more than three calls to set this up. That's, that's uh, from a standard setup, like from zero line or zero box. You are most three, two, three, four calls away from this setup. And then you call your chosen figure and then you call the right and left grand. In addition, it adds from my experience variety because um, yeah, who calls spin the top to a right and left grand? Who calls clover leaf to a right and left grand? Who calls half tag to a right and left grand, etc. cetera. Um, so I think it's, it's worth and, and you can, yeah, I don't want to repeat myself, but it's really, for me at that time, it was really interesting, like puzzling out what is the potential starting formation? So maybe this is in your pocket and swing through is not a, 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 tough a tough example, but you can look at this. You can also call it from here, like from a quarter tag position, like it's a heads fan the top, that's the setup or heads past the ocean center lady trade. And I say this on purpose, heads fan the top or heads past the ocean center ladies trade, because once we add, uh, the knowledge of equivalence to it, you will see the benefit of, of this method also, and you really then can easily create right and left grand um, solutions. So from here, if, if the centers do their swing through, yeah, sides must face, but I think it's, it's from the definition, if I call it in a dance, they all do it. I make a joke out of it, say, send a swing through, everybody right and left grand, sides wake up or something. Yeah, it's, it's just as I do. Of course, we can call it from an Alamo ring. This is like Alamo ring, a swing through away. If you call it double, here's your right and left grand. And you have also three quarter tag. It's also the same as uh, sides wake up once uh, the heads do their uh, fan the top, swing through, sides wake up, everybody right and left grand. Um, how do you set this up? Sides past the ocean, swing through, extend twice. That's um, that's the, the setup. And here's the creativity part of it. Can, can you or we come up with more setups? It's more rhetorical question for this. And I, I leave this open once we, are, once we see others and, uh, and, and try to enjoy how to find these setups. Limitations, of course, yeah? Then you have to be creative because in the mainstream program, 
if I think of an A chain through formation and you need to be half sachet in order to call a normal right and left grand. And if you want to call right and left through in the mainstream program, it's limited. So, so there are some, some calls that maybe makes the idea challenging. Um, Dixie style ends in left hand waves, call a right and left grand from there, need some creativity. A normal element there, I mean, a wrong way there, of course, can end into right and left grand. An element there is, is uh, maybe a left and right grand or something like that. Chain down the line because of body flow. Yes, we can call boys also limited in mainstream. We could have the boys trade, girls courtesy turn, ends up in an eight chain through formation. You're facing your partner in sequence for right and left grand, but it's maybe not such a good flow. Uh, anyway, think of maybe, yeah, I don't want to introduce C1 concepts here. That's not my, my idea, but it's like, what, how can we use other words to guide the dancers uh, through if we want to have a Dixie style. Maybe a yeah, Dixie style and step through, which is a pass through then right and left grand or something else. It's just, yeah, let's, uh, let's be creative here. Um, or of course, for the, for the younger caller beginners, uh, leave these calls out and, and try to first concentrate on the more handleable, handled situation. Let's have a case study. So when I, when I do this, instead of filling out the analysis call sheet with Cloverleaf, I actually have to answer the same questions. Um, what is the starting formation? Is Cloverleaf uh, hand availability? Uh, yeah, and, and do I want to use four dancers or eight dancers Cloverleaf, uh, et cetera. So I ask myself first, when I want to do a Cloverleaf into a right and left grand, I say, is Cloverleaf suitable call for right and left grand? I, and I say, well, it does not end. Normally it ends like in a, in a double pass two formation, right? If I call it double pass two Cloverleaf, it ends in a, in a starting double pass two formation. Can I call right and left grand from there? Yes, if the centers are facing their partner and the outsides also having their partner. Um, so I, I figured out, yes, Cloverleaf should be fine. Let's, let's find the setup. So what is the setup we're looking for? Yeah, question. How do we get there in a nice and efficient way? And, and really that's the trick also. It has a lot, of, lot to do with uh, module calling uh, from, from my perspective, because having some modules we know and we discuss the pros and cons between all the calling or the, the resolving methods or calling methods. But it's really, uh, it's not, go to this formation in a constructive way. It's more going there in an efficient, danceable way. And then you can clover leave for right and left grand. Um, then if you look at the definition from clover leaf, you find out, yeah, it's, it can be eight dancers to do the clover leaf, or is it only four dancers? Yeah, can I find, what, what is the setup I'm looking here for? What is, what is the, the, uh, yeah, the usage of the call? Um, what is a good movement before Cloverleaf, our Cloverleaf that we want to use? Any expected challenges? Does it end in left-hand waves or not? It's more also uh, correlate to the first, first line. Is Cloverleaf suitable to call it into right and left grand? And maybe there's also a gimmick to it, uh, like um, maybe your home get out or or maybe we can think of something like only the boys do a clover leaf and everybody find right and left grand or whatever. I'm just making it up. It's just uh, let's let's get get the brain brain working. So I try to answer these questions in the first first approach. Is it a, uh, uh, is it suitable? Yes. Which formation setup we're looking for? Complete a double pass through. So I need to find a complete double pass through formation. When I call Cloverleaf, I need to be yeah, ready to right and left grand. Uh, do we get there in a nice and efficient way? Yeah, maybe we can use tag the line or double pass through, which is the, the normal approach, I, I guess. Do we use all eight or four dancers? And then I said, well, let's, let's first go with the eight dancer Cloverleaf. What are good movements before we use Cloverleaf? Like I think every straight forward motion so a double pass through straightforward is good. Tag the line is straightforward. 
uh, and that's what I'm looking for. As you know, and 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 think of this as a beginner session, uh, and and we can come up with with other clever ways to call clover leaf. But uh, for a beginner, I think it's it's good to understand the definition and what is like what can everybody and every dancer, average mainstream dancer, can dance and having fun. Any expected challenges uh, ends in left hand waves or something? No, maybe find a gimmick. Yeah. Yes, maybe I find something, uh, you are home, uh, if this is a gimmick, but it's a your home get out, uh, yeah, you know, it's just, okay, put this in brackets, maybe. And then uh, it's actually this formation we're looking for. So how do you get there? You can either easily call this or, or create this setup once the clover leaf is, is done, because we know it ends in a double pass through formation, and then move the dancers backwards until we get to this formation, as you see on the left side. And then find a clever way how to get there. And once you study this formation, and maybe you ask also computer programs because they have a lot of database, a lot of knowledge how to find a setup. Winesh had this also, but Winesh is like very old and not so, but I also like uh, Vic Cedar's program and he's also has the function of find me, how, how can I get to this setup? Um, I can show an example later on, if you, if you like. So here it's very easy, head square through four. So that's a zero box. Slide through, pass through, tag the line. And that's where we are. And once I call clover leaf, we end up here, what you see on the right-hand side. And the nice part about it, if you, if you see how, how the, the man, like the, the outside, the ends, the side couples are moving. Once they do their clover leaf, they, they just go forward into their right and left hand. And the trailing dancers, like the heads in the center, they don't, if you time it right, they don't finish their clover leaf because they also run into their partner. So you can really call clover leaf look for your partner, right and left grind. I think it's uh, very neat. I use this get out very often. Um, maybe you're, you know also this from, if you rotate this 180 degrees, then you will end up at home. Like you can say clover leaf and you're home. You also can say if you, uh, I mean, another get out from here is that you may have often used after slide to pass to tag the line is, uh, face in and go twice your home, but then I have not used clover leaf. Yeah, so this session is all about um, this clover leaf, and I think it's extremely light, nice uh, movement because you really run into your partner. Um, other examples. I mean, you can ask yourself, even as an experienced caller, have you ever used recycle to a right and left grant, hashtag to a right and left grant? Spin the top to a right and left grand. Spin chain through. I put this in there because we had the last session. We should know the setup of spin chain through that ends with your partner, which is the magic box or the spin chain through box, which is the across the street box plus a right and left through. If you remember this, so this is like, that's why I put it in here. So it's easily uh, um, set up from a zero box. You call pass to trade by. You can call spin chain through you there. From the spin the top, you are away from a spin the top uh, from a zero line with a flutter wheel. So you, you, we, we call heads lead right, circle to a line. We have our normal zero line, everybody in sequence. We say forward and back if it's not flowing good or call it square through three, courtesy turn the girl beside you. You end a little flowing module, zero module in there, like square through three, courtesy turn the girl beside you. Send her back for a flutter wheel. Everybody, yeah, help a word, step to a wave, spin the top, or for more experienced dancer, just call the spin the top into a right and left grand. The half tag setup is a more challenging, but as you can see, if, if I call half tag, they run into it. Um, and actually this solution, I, I haven't figured out how can I really fast set this up. So I asked Wixida's program, to be honest, and he came up and says, Okay, head lead right, swing through once and a half, quarter in, and mainstream you can say face in. Via left, even flows good. The, the ocean waves are a little far away, so we say 
face in, check your couples beside you via left. And that's the setup. Then you can call half tag to a right and left grand. And I called it at my last club night. I said it's too crowded. So I, I call couples circulate twice, which is a zero and does nothing. And then call the half tag into a right and left grand. The recycle setup is a heads lead right, step to a wave, girls trade, and then swing through. So you can see it's only three, maximum four calls away from a normal setup where we can use this. And, and if you need to figure this out, I think it, it's accomplishing the work. And the nice thing about this, um, which, uh, maybe it's, it's worth looking through it. It's now, I can boost your brain, I can boost your knowledge by working and understanding equivalence. If, if we know that recycle, not the advanced version, but like step to a wave recycle is the same as a flutter wheel. So if I have a recycle get out, which was head sleep right, make a wave, girls trade, swing through. If I call a recycle to a right and left grand, but I also can find an equivalent for a step back. So we have facing couples, which would be swing through centers, run wheel and deal. And that's, an, that's, a, that's a, a normal, right? The swing through centers, run wheel and deal is one of the very early modules you learn in a, in a corner school. So you can really use this. Then you have facing couples. The flow is wrong, I understand. But then you say little forward and back or something. but the idea is you can call flutter wheel to a right and left grand. If you have a left square through to a right and left grand, you also have a partner trade to a right and left grand. If we know the equivalent of a right and left through girl turn a boy to a right and left grand, and I do know the equivalent of a right and left through is flutter wheel reverse flutter wheel, I automatically have a reverse flutter wheel to a right and left grand. Or a reverse flutter wheel and flutter wheel is also the equivalent of a right and left through. And I choose this example because now you can substitute the flutter wheel with the recycle. If you want to call a right and left through to a right and left grand, you can say also reverse flutter wheel and then step to a wave recycle to a right and left grand because we know flutter wheel recycle is kind of the same achievement. And Flutter wheel and reverse flutter or flutter or reverse flutter and flutter wheel. I'm not, I'm confusing myself here, but you know, I hope you can follow. Yeah, it's the right and left through equivalent. Swing through equivalent is, so if I find the setup of a swing through and then right and left grand, I also can call like an equivalent for swing through, which is right and left through via left ends run to a right and left grand. So if I go back, and say, let's say here, where's the, the swing through at the very beginning, I guess. Yeah, if I have this setup on the left side and I call a swing through to a right and left grand, I also can call right and left through via left, boy run right, right and left grand. And, I, and, and this is where then the fun parts in. So you don't need to find too many setups, but you need to understand equivalents and um, yeah, and, and then you find much more ways to do this ends run. Okay, demo time. Uh, we keep our secret done, yeah? Yeah. You want, <laughs> how, how, about right. using, how about using split circulate? Yes, thank you. So um, yeah, let's, let's try, let's do a demo and, and let's see if we can get this together find out what would be, we want to call a split circulate into a right and left grant. And let's try if we can, can find, set up this together. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, can you see this? It's small, it's an old program. I cannot uh, open this wider, but uh, the way I, I approach this and I want, and the goal is for our split circulate to a right and left grand, if, if we choose this randomly as a figure, uh, how, how would the square will look like? And I, I start in asking myself, do I start with 
a more like zero line setup, like head sleep right or head sleep left? Or do I start more with a square through four approach where the center ladies are apart from each side? Um, and since split circulate stays on one side, I think staying on one side is, is a good idea. So let's start with head sleep left. And then if I call it centers half sachet and everybody face left, here's the setup for my split circulate to a right and left grant. However, it's very constructive. Yeah, I just went in there and say, okay, how can I, how can I set this up? Okay, I'm here. Uh, yeah, it, it, get your checkers out and try F sachet and then phase left. Yeah, you can see split circulate, move forward the boys or this girl, turn around, everybody's in sequence right on the ground. Um, another setup would be if I call heads lead left. And then a right and left through where the outside couple do a half sachet. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, also the centers half sachet. And then touch a quarter. It's the same setup. So instead of going heads lead left, centers half sachet, quarter left, split circulate, which is not a good flow, nothing is just to find the setup, right? to find the setup where I can call it. The other approach is heads lead left or an equivalent for it, like heads left touch a quarter, centers walk and dodge. Then right and left through, centers have sachet. Everybody touch a quarter, split circulate to a right and left grand. Flows much more. Then I ask a, a computer program because I think, okay, how can I fastly set this up? And the pro computer program said to me from a zero line, so heads lead right, circle to a line. From a zero line, the call boy walk, girl dodge, centers trade will accomplish the same thing. And I was, I thought, oh, nice. Like from a zero line, I can remember this easily. It's not constructed, not forced. It can be really like, like, uh, like a flowing combination. Boy walk, girl dodge and have the centers trade. And here I am, split circulate. Oops, split circulate to a right and left grant. So nice, so I know now from a zero line, boy walk, girl dodge, centers trade. I can use this every time. Then the computer program said to me, heads past the ocean. And that's where you then try to explore and learn and see how the moves go together. Say very center straight, which is our heads fan the top, by the way. Yeah, if I call heads fan the top, I, I should end here, which is in mainstream heads past the ocean, center lady trade, computer program set from here, scoot and weave into a split circulate right and left grant. And I thought, wow, that, that's, I call A2, that's easy to remember. If you're not calling A2 and uh, what could be equivalent from here, an equivalent is for scoot and weave is extend, cast three quarters, center straight. Now look how nice this is, extend, cast off three quarters, center straight, And here's my setup again, which is the actual one I, I, I constructed in the beginning. I call split circulate to a right and left grant. And now I add a bonus to it. If from here, this is my head stand the top, I can, I can show. Yeah. Head stand the top is the setup, the same as heads past the ocean center straight. I enforce this because this is really why it's it's good to understand equivalence or ways how to set up and it, it enhances your figure management or your arrangement uh, uh, management or your formation management as, as we use as we say in, in college schools. And then if I know equivalence for 
skewed and weaved from here, which is extend cast three quarters center straight. Um, I found this extremely nice. And then when I look at this setup and we had talked about technical zeros in one of the last, I can call ping pong circulate. And, and it, this is a zero because it's this quarter tag formation where ping pong cir circulate means nothing. So I call, I can, I have another one, I call ping pong circulate. And now my scoot and weave, so my extend cast three quarters center straight. And I have a completely different feeling. The right and left grand is on another quadrant of the, of the square, which, which again is the same get out, but you don't hear that much often, at least in Germany or in Europe where I call. Yeah, here's your split circulate to a right and left grand. And I found this extremely interesting combining having this method and then you learn so much about a call. And, and for me, it, is, it was much more fun by um, yeah, by and, and uh, filling out this analysis uh, um, call sheet. But just to finish this presentation is like last words, and then I love to have the discussion and get your feedback on the idea. It's hard work, also for a beginner. But I mean, filling out the analyzing call sheet is also hard work. Digging up the definition and, and, and really get to know the figures. But I encourage you to do it for all figures for the levels you call, you will see a lot of synergies because when you're understanding and, and dig into equivalence, like, like this one, if, or, or you can call it straight like the scoot and weave example, you will find a lot of yeah, similarity in, in how this goes. The, what surprised me also, and, and, I've, and, and I have not found any movement where you're more than three, four figures away from a normal setup, like a zero line or, or corner lady line or zero box, where you can call, where, where you need to find the setup, then use your call to a right and left grand. So it's also easy to remember get out to a right and left grand. It boosts, from my opinion, your formation arrangement management skills. It boosts the usage of the figures. It boosts the knowledge and usage of equivalence. Um, and that provides a lot of variety. And your brain will very fast connect things. Like if you understand recycle flutter wheel example, then I think it's a, it's a cool thing. Um, and another approach is, and it's not in the slides, but I, I make this as a voiceover. If I have my partner for a right and left grand, I mean, I can also, and I have this setup, I can, I can call turn through instead of the right and left grand. Most of the time I can call turn through or with your face, your partner and turn through, right? It's with the three quarter tag. I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, imagine. And then you can say, go back to your corner, element left, full turn, keep her promenade and you have a singing call figure. Or you start with four ladies chain three quarters and then something like, and not considering flow now, but then say heads lead right, circle to align, boy walk, girl dodge, center straight, split circulate, swing your corner, promenade. I mean, this gives you really the, the, the creativity and, and, uh, uh, and, and some ideas. So that brings me to the end of the print presentation. Uh, I, I, I sent then, I sent you already the presentation, then you can put online. I put my address here and, and I love <laughs> talking about cybersecurity. <laughs> and I have some, some open, open spots uh, with you, Clark. You said we need to talk about that. But first, let's talk about this idea I wanted to present and, and thanks for the invitation, Don. And yeah, what do you think? What uh, hopefully that was useful and, and got a little twist in your mind maybe, or have you used this, a, a similar idea? So I like to get, give it back to the moderator, Don. <laughs> of course you got me thinking, which is a good thing. And then I start, stopped paying attention to you and was dancing stuff on Taminations. <laughs> but um, 
one of the things my first thought was, gee, contaminations won't do this. I need to use physical dolls so I can get them to where I want them and then push them backwards through the calls to get them where I want. Contaminations um, doesn't do that for me. And then I realized that it's something that I've done before with contaminations. I'll set up a split circulate to a... Uh, uh, half sashayed lines so I could half sashayed waves so I can do my right and left grand and I look and I say oh the number one man doesn't have the number one lady he's got the number three so I have to do a head ladies chain before I set this up this way um, and the side men are out of sequence so I have to do a sides flutter wheel and the head and then I figure out ways to come up with with what I'm doing beforehand um, to get into this um, but I basically like the idea of. Uh, and if you have, like, if you have the ocean wave to a right and left wind, you could, we know four times split circulate is a zero. Yeah. So you can call it three split circulates, and there's your setup. You can say three split circulates. No, nobody wants to do this, but you can call one split circulate, then call a zero module. Then you call another split circulate or twice another zero module, and then you're actually there. And then you call your split circulate to a right and left grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's like you can play around it in 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 either way. But the exercise done you're doing with moving backwards or trying half sashayed lines past the ocean, as you explained, split circulate doesn't bring you the setup. So what do I need to do? And this is actually the exercise that a caller needs to do in the big, in the early stage to understand how this this the 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 the, the gears or the yeah it, it 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 connects together. So so I really enjoyed this for and I'm now need to do more for teaching me equivalents that I hadn't realized. I've got a couple of right and left grand get outs that I memorized, and when you did the work through the split circulate that all of a sudden told me that oh cast off three quarters half tag is equivalent to a split circulate because if you start from a partner line past the ocean hinge centers trade centers run half tag is split circulate and working the other way back there's another hinge in there that makes the split circulate or i mean is a right yeah the another hinge in there that makes the split circulate work so the three quarters is a good way to work it backwards. Yeah, nice. Um, I uh, could I butt in for just a second. I, uh, I, I was looking for hands, physical hands, instead of the electronic ones. Sorry, Daryl, I should have known you were in the uh, That's that's all right, Lawrence. Very, Lawrence, very nice presentation, and I got some ideas out of it too, but. Uh, my computer is having some connection issues, if you know what of the frozen frame type, uh, type of thing. Uh, so I'm probably going to back out. On, I will see what everybody else comes up with in the recorded version. But uh, thank you so much. Well, thank and you. I'll hang on until I get tired of it going stuttering on and off, if you know what I mean. Any other suggestions, thoughts, light bulbs, lighting? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'm going to throw in a couple more thoughts that come to mind. Back to, to uh, analyst analyzing sheets. Some of you may know that I occasionally use mental image and get carried away with it. Um, one of the things I've added to an app to an analysis sheet is is the call an x or not mm -hmm. so that it's one more thing i learn about each call and when you were mentioning uh, excuse me i gotta get some water in here when lawrence when you were mentioning the ping pong circulate doesn't do anything um other than keeping people dancing it's one of those zeros that when you know mental image it's a zero if there's an uncanceled x 
if all X's are canceled, namely men and women are, are both in or both out of sequence, then it's not a uh, then it's not a zero. But if the sequence of the men and the women are different, or there's an uncancelled X, then ping pong circulate X is a zero. So it's, it's not con it's con conditional. Sometimes that works, and sometimes it doesn't. Come on, people! You must have some thoughts on this. Or well, any any other call we can discuss. I mean, yeah. As the token newest caller on the group, I'll pipe in with the uh, the other one that I thought about was. Um, wait, is there any way to make star through work or slide through work? And uh, of course, I realized there is, but it took me a couple of passes to figure out how to get there. Mm -hmm. um, on the discussion with slide through that tricked my brain is when I tried, uh, what is load the boat doing? So load the boat is a slide through if it's from normal lines, but it's not right. from half a shade lines, then it's a pass through and quarter in, which is more like a pass the ocean type of thing. So if I have a setup where I can call, you know, pass the ocean to a right and left grand, which is like pass through face in, and, and we leave the step to a wave out, but it's the past the ocean motion, if, 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 if you can follow. Then if I have, if I do know a past the ocean to a right and left grand, it's this reverse star through to a right and left grand, and it's the load the boat to a right and left grand, because this, this pass through quarter in is exactly what, uh, what the load the boat is doing, plus 180 degrees turn from the load the boat version. And that's where the equivalents come in. So that's where I like your, your thinking is with the with the star through or slide through, what happens if they have their shade? But what if I call it pass through quarter in, which is then the reverse slide through from a half star shade, and then finding out load the boat is doing the same thing, pass the ocean is doing the same thing. Hey, great, uh, great connections. Yeah. Now, if you're if you're having troubles figuring out where or how to set people up for a right and left grand, any, not the, the setup kind of thing to get there, like Lorenz has been doing, but any place you set your dolls up where you can do an Alaman left, have everybody do a U-turn back. And that's from, from there, you can do a right and left grand. So you set your dolls up for any Alaman left module you have, have everybody do a U-turn back and then use Lorenz's working backwards to get to that setup. Mm -hmm. One of the get outs that I use from a three quarter tag to a right and left grand, I've got to admit I didn't work through. I heard, I think Kip Garvey mentioned it on a present, Kip Garvey and Bill Davis, I can't remember who's get out. Actually, they were talking about certain get outs at a car lab convention session. And I think it was some woman in the audience who said, I use this and I, I kind of like it. Um, if you do a corner box press plus a right and left through, touch a quarter, centers trade, centers run. And from that, not that I memorize things easily, but that one I can remember a three quarter right. tag, a three quarter tag the line to a right and left brand is something you can get most people through and, and surprises them nicely. Yes. Corner box, right and left yeah. through. And you see, and you see, sorry, to, uh, I don't want to be rude and interrupt, but that, that's again, it's a zero box. And then you say, right on us through, touch a quarter, send us trade, send us run. Bam, there's your setup. It's not far away. So if people say, I need to learn a lot of figures for one module to have this method, that's not true. You just have to find clever ways, the same as zero lines, boy, walk, girl, dark, center, straight, split, circulate, right on left grand. And I remember Kip, when, when I did schools with him, he used the same, and I since using exactly the same one. Zero box, right on left through, touch a quarter, center, straight, center, run, three quarter tag to a right on left grand. <laughs> yeah, nice. And, and sometimes getting when you're working you know zero corner box right and left through touch a quarter you're all working with that foursome and not thinking of the other side of the square um 
and that's a tough you know formation arrangement adds a degree of difficult formation awareness adds a, a degree of difficulty to answers but when you to dancers but when you say centers trade they can really hook into that pretty quickly and it gets them aside from flowing nicely it they can orient pretty quickly even if they're not aware of the other side of the square and then centers run from there Any figure you have in mind? Do you know square through four to write on that grand? Um, it's a it's a corner lady line half their shade. That's the setup. So head square through four, touch a quarter, girls run. Square through four, you go the wrong way, but that's okay. Go right on that grand. So if you have then square through four equivalents which everybody has, right? Touch a quarter, run, like boys run, or this time girls run, or flutter wheel, sweep a quarter, pass through, reverse flutter wheel, sweep a quarter, pass through, or any square through four equivalent, uh, which I have not included in the presentation for a purpose, because that's one of the easiest one. And then you add so many, the end, the end figures of your, um, of your square through four equivalent that brings you to a right and left grand. So from a corner lady line, you can you can call it flood a wheel, boys go, yeah. Sweep a quarter more, pass through, right and left grand, which is your square through four equivalent. Just just saying how how I how my brain approaches things. Yeah. Well, I have been. Uh... I, I am not an advanced caller. I've been focusing on SSD, but I know I need to sit down and learn advanced because I'm getting more and more uh, opportunities to call it. And this is going to be a good way to for me to think about a lot of these calls and work through this and stretch myself. So thank you. Any other get out you're using to a right and left grant with what is the preceding figure, preceding call to it, like in your normal routine? Mine are all the usual bolt, uh, boring ones. You know, the half tag to a right and left grand, the um, uh, extend to a three quarter tag to a right and left grand, the. Um, uh, you know, yeah, swing through, of course, to a right and left grand. Uh -huh. Easy. Um, but my my setup for the three quarter tag to the right and left grand is a little clumsy and has some overflow. And now I'm thinking about how that split circulate has some similarities there. And maybe I can fit that in there rather than going into the Ferris wheel, touch a quarter, extend right and left grand. Mm -hmm. Um. If we talk a zero line right and left through half sachet, that's a setup, and then call pass the ocean right and left grand, or load the boat right and left grand. If I call a four ladies chain before, so it's a opposite lady line, and you say right and left through half sachet, pass the ocean, all eight circulate to a right and left grand. Then you have your all eight circulate to a right and left grand. Um, what else can we think of? Uh, okay, partner trade to a right and left grand, not too difficult to set up. It's a. Um, what else on figures? The clover leaf I like because it's it's this 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 flowing into it to a right and left grand. Half tag I found difficult to set up because it's boy boy girl girl two faced line. The solution that I use into a half tag right and left grand. But to get there, um, yeah, not to repeat too much, but it's, it's really uh, the program told me the <laughs> once and a half quarter in we are left. I found this just neat how to really tricky, clever, and easy way you can set things up. What Larry, else we have? Larry's Scoot got his right hand up. Left grand. Sorry. Larry, you, Larry's got his hand up. Let's see what. Ah, he, sorry. Yes. Let, let's see what his 17 modules are. <laughs> <laughs> so can you guys hear me okay yeah yeah okay so uh days um uh, you know i've been calling for a long time but 
Uh, these days, I tend to start my right and left grand at specific places because I tend to take dancers home. I call that a bullseye. And uh, so basically, if I'm calling and my couple number one is matched and I'm going north and south, uh, the head, I'm doing head walls. I'm just going to move the number one couple up to the top and, uh, and get the corner to them and to do an Alaman left and a right or, or just a right and left grand. Uh, so it takes them home. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, the other one I do is if one is not matched, if couple four is matched and I'm going east and west, I'll stick four across, you know, halfway across. So uh, over, you know, what I, what I call east, the east quadrant. Uh, again, looking at sidewalls. So the side, the, it's like sides doing a right and left through if you're new. So uh, that's halfway from home. And then uh, I move, you know, again, the corners to the over to the right. And again, I can do an Alaman left or just a right and left grand. I often just have the senders box the at to a right and left grand, um, you know, from that spot. But again, the right and left grand takes uh, dancers home. Uh, the other thing I do is I like to throw in a wrong way grand on occasion, but a wrong way grand, uh, I prefer to take the dancers home uh, and then just have them slide through. Uh, so I tend to start the right, the wrong way grand, same place as well. You don't have to take the dancers home with the wrong way grand, but it's kind of fun to throw in a wrong way grand uh, every once in a while. And then as you'd probably guess, I've got loads of modules. Um, you know, that are sort of what I call, um, you know, pre-written, uh, you know, to get dancers to, I, I love the circulate once and a half to a right and left grand. Uh, in advance, I'll even do a trade circulate once and a half to a right and left grand. But I've kind of, those are like modules. And I figured out already in advance where I need the dancers to be for that. And so I just, I move the dancers there and I then call it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, you know, so, uh, so I got plenty of those too. So if, uh, if some of you are newbies and would like a couple of modules, you know, to get to right and left grands, uh, I can, if that's what your pre preferred method is, I can, uh, you know, send you a couple of those. Uh, right. So you can kind of see how it works. Mm -hmm. Chris, you got a hand up? I do. <clears throat> um, I, uh, uh, I don't know if you noticed, I came in at the last second here. Uh, I wasn't feeling well. Uh, so I, I apologize for missing the thing. I'm going to go back and watch it because uh, immediately, uh, <clears throat> immediately, even though I, uh, you know, I've been calling a long time, uh, as soon as I caught on to what you're talking about here, I thought, oh, that's really interesting. I'm so lazy. I need to do more, more uh, interesting get outs. But uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to reviewing that. But the, uh, but the thing I was going to say is uh, concerning the, uh, uh, the extend right and left grand and the uh, circulate and the circulate one and a half. The, um, the way I, I do those all the time, and uh, this is just sort of a plug for uh, mental image, um, where, uh, where you, have your, you have your four spots. And so I think of the, uh, the, uh, the left hand most spot, which would, be, which would correspond to the uh, zero line or 1P, 2P line. I do the uh, right and left through roll away and then probably a pass the ocean or a load the boat or whatever. I do that one all the time. And so that one's right on the spot. And then if you want the one, and then if you slide the uh, spot over to the next uh, location, the, uh, which is uh, sort of the box one four spot, right? Um, then, then, you know, there's your extend. And if you put it on the other, if you slide it over one more time, which uh, you were talking about is sort of the four ladies chain type um, uh, movement of the spot, uh, you know, there's your, uh, there's, there's your pass the ocean circulate. And then one, the last spot, the, the right hand most spot, that's your uh, uh, circulate uh, one and a half or circulate and extend spot. So I, I use those all the time. Um, and that's uh, uh, one of my favorite get outs. And, um, but I, I like to do that one on uh, mental image just because uh, it's just lining them up on whichever of those four places you want. And it, you know, it's either circulate, I mean, it's either right and left grand or uh, circulate right and left grand or extend uh, the extend uh, or uh, half circulate uh, version of, of those. So those are, those are my favorites. And um, uh, that, that's why I like to do those. But I, but I got to go back and watch the presentation because I almost never do 
uh, any like the uh, like the three quarter tag one uh, and um, uh, a couple others I saw going by that. Oh yeah, I kind of know that, but I, I I never do it. So I'm uh, well. I'll be doing them on Thursday. The next time I call, <laughs> I'll bone up before then. Chris Laurent, you should look, watch the presentation. Laurent does a good job of mind stretching. <laughs> um, I I was curious, and again, haven't been paying attention because I'm looking at Tam Nations. But I was curious whether Tam Nations would do a right and left grand from a quarter tag and a three quarter tag. Um, and in fact, they will. It does. But the reason I was curious is um, my last metal image class last Wednesday, one of the students, I was talking about Dixie Grand, and one of the students was showing me some Dixie, Dixie Grand positions that I hadn't thought of, and that was one quarter tag and three quarter tag um, to start at Dixie Grand. And I went back to Tem Nations, and that they didn't do it. Um, so I emailed Brad and said, is that an oversight or is that intentional, you know, a bug or a feature? And um, he said it's an oversight and it will be in the next, <laughs> in the next um, version that comes out. Again, Brad has been very responsive, as many people have said. And uh, so anyway, my, my one cent's worth at this point and this is stretching me in all the right ways but i'm just imagining if uh janet were here um or various other newer callers and the ways that we're just rattling off how we get through these modules with it, and assuming that the people hearing us can visualize what we're talking about is <laughs> is one of the things that I found frustrating when I was newer at this. <laughs> but but it's really, really the idea is of substituting the analyzing a call sheet, not substituting it, wrong word, not, it's, it's, you need to do it, but it's like another approach of understanding the movement. Uh, uh, and, and that's the main idea, right? It's, it's really, and you need to do it for all the movements, for all movements. Yeah. yeah. For it's like a good step expanding the use of the yes the analysis sheet, call analysis sheets yeah. and and i i'm sure you could do the same thing instead of to right and left grants just to alaman left um yeah with any call what can i do before it how can i set it up so i can call this call and do an alaman left right after it um definitely uh, and and dan what would what, what i'd say Lorenz was doing he was getting our minds thinking of different ways to do these things, but he was trying, correct me if I'm wrong, Lorenz, to show if we had more newer newbies, to show them how to, you know, this is what I'm trying to do for variety. This is the way I go about thinking about it to make it happen. Not the specific example, but this is how to, how to, how to analyze what, <laughs> more than just the analyze sheet shows. Yes. Yeah. No. And I, <clears throat> the, the part that, uh, that the newer caller in me was cringing at was more the conversation we're having now than the earlier one, but I think it all, it all works nicely. And if somebody's watching this later and they throw this into contaminations and use that to help them, it'll, it'll go fairly well. Mel, what have you got to tell us? I was just following along every time you start talking like when you just mentioned dixie grand and everything else every time you guys start something my mind starts whirling around in circles i've thought about get outs to right and left grands and i've always just okay i'll set up a module and i'll remember i've never actually took a step back to look at it and say wow and these are just popping out of my head from what you're saying like your dixie grand oh go go forehands and then you're into that slide through that you know, that, that came from the right and left grand where you got one couple going one way, one couple doing a wrong way grand. It, it just, it rolled into that. And I just want to say, Lorenz, thank you so much because every time you start talking about a movement, my mind started spinning wheels that I haven't spun in a long time. So, <laughs> so it was, it was great. Thank you very much. Lorenz, because I was playing with Tam Nations, I didn't write down one of your sequences, but 
what did you do as a simple setup to do a half tag to a right and left grant? The half tag is uh, heads lead right, swing through once and a half, quarter in via left. Which is, you know, just in my mind, the thing, it's not the, it flows well, but maybe my mainstream dancers cannot do it. Yeah, I mean, this once and a half, ooh, first, and then, then this uh, roll or quarter in, uh, and then checking the couples because the waves are far away for the rear left. But it's it's the one that, um, it's, it's like that, how you can set it up, yeah? If you find an easier one, uh, yeah, please send it along. That's what I'm that's, working on. Yeah. <laughs> the half tag is really tough. Partner um, lines, um, <clears throat> past the ocean, hinge, centers, trade, centers, run, half tag, right and left grand. Yeah, yeah. much better. Yeah. Say that again, Dan. From partner lines, past the ocean, hinge, centers, trade, centers, run. Half Wait a minute. Tag. Past the ocean, centers, trade. Uh, no, 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 past the ocean, hinge, because okay. you've got to get the the boy girl boy girl waves for the centers run to give you boy boy girl girl um, okay. centers yeah so here let me pop it up on taminations um share screen that's a uh, other button so um Oh, I was already there. So, uh, so the centers trades they the past the ocean hinge centers trade centers run gives you an in sequence boy boy girl girl setup. So then your half tag drops you into the right and left grand. Mm -hmm. That's a that's an easy, straightforward. You see a lot of basic calls, yeah. Lead right, center yeah. to a line, past the ocean, a hinge. Okay, people can do it. Centers trade. Now it's a boy boy girl girl arrangement. Centers run, and then comes like the half tag, and 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 your partner is there. It gives you also the success feeling from from dancing, uh, like oh, I managed to get from this arrangement a half tag. And I can, uh, and and the square can control themselves. We did it right because they have their partner. That's also another aspect of, of the the the, uh, the dancers feeling they had success instead that, of just calling half tag from an arrangement for variety, but have no meaning. You're not telling a story while you're calling, but this is this is storytelling while you're calling. That's how I refer also to it. And and this is a really nice uh, and easy to dance. Yeah, excellent. Good. Very, very nice. Thanks. And yeah, as somebody pointed out to me earlier on that if I'm having trouble moving something from weird arrangements like square through from a half arrangement, that doing it into a right and left grand is a great way to make the make that last part of the movement a, oh, yes, that's what I should be looking for for the dancers. Can you push the play button and let's see it happen? Sure. <clears throat> nice i was i was just playing with one if, um yeah lay it on me yeah type it in square yeah. you said well, what I did first was was um, this is sort of working the way through, showing you. Let's do a, a heads pass through separator on one to a line. I should turn up the speed here. And. I wanted the girls on the left end and very awkwardly bend the line. You can do a forward and back bend the line. Um, now do a pass through and half tag. So 
So I noticed here that if I did an extend, everybody would be, so I should have done a three quarter tag line, do an extend and everybody's got partners. Right. But I also noticed they're out of sequence. So I said, well, how could I get them in sequence in the, originally? So re reset the square and we'll do the, so what I'm gonna do is head square through three quarters separate around one to a line. Probably, yeah. Okay. Now, and forward and back, bend the line. I haven't found a smoother way to do that quickly, but bend the line to put the girls on the end. Yeah, square through three, bend the line, for example. Okay. And yeah, that would do it nicely. And then pass through three quarter, tag the line to a right and left grand. The. Uh... As soon as uh, you, uh, somebody said the, um, uh, well, the, uh, the one with the uh, uh, swing through one and a half and roll, uh, right and left through, uh, pass through and uh, half tag that one. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> the 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 thing that occurred to me is that uh, when you're start when you're when you're starting that one out, um, you're doing it you're starting it from the same spot. That you would do uh, as, as, as essentially the uh, you know the sort of the one p two p right and left grand right so uh, you know zero lines uh, right and left through uh, past the ocean uh, and and so here we are ready for a um, uh, a trade and a right and left grand or a box than that or if we had sashayed them first we'd be we'd be pointing in the right direction already but anyway over there that. Uh, uh, what, what I think of as sort of the lower left-hand corner of the world. Um, on, on mental image, um, I know how to get, like I was saying before, I know how to get there very easily. And I, and I call things like uh, slide through and roll right and left grand from there, stuff like that. But, what, but, but the variation that we're doing here is the, after the, uh, uh, the uh, swing through, we do the trade and roll. The, if, you, if you think about that being a, a starting spot, now when you do that roll, you're off mental image because the mental image system is not going to accommodate the uh, this, that particular sex arrangement um, uh, with uh, all the uh, all the girls in the middle. But you see that you're still really at the same place that you would normally be doing right and left grands from. Um, and so, uh, if you're on mental image, first of all, you can just remember that that's a, a place you can get to, and uh, all, all you got to do is bring him back. To the to the same side, the close side that that you're on of, of, of the square, right? So that's our that's our right and left through and our pass through. Uh, basically, you just got to bring him back to there and you know do the veer left and half tag. And so it's not that far off mental image. If you just do like O type calls and things, uh, you're not going to mess anything up uh, or mix anybody up. And so you can see so basically you can you can sort of uh, back formulate that that get out on mental image. But the thing I'm going to sit and think about now is if I wanted to do uh, the three quarter tag and if I wanted to do it from any of the other four four places besides that one, uh, uh, that, sh that should be uh, also uh, uh, fairly uh, trivial to figure out. So I'm going to that's that's going to be my homework. But for, for the mental image callers out there, I think you probably know what I'm talking about is you, you're just going to get him back to that usual right and left grand spot, or I'm, I'm supposing any of the, of those four right and left grand spots with a, uh, with a similar, uh, with a similar trick, even though you're off the mental image system, technically uh, you, you should still be able to, to do that. It, you know, it's uh, the, the kind of calls you're going to be doing, or uh, you know, it's a little bit like isolated site in the sense that you're, you just got to be careful not to use calls that'll mix people up, but, but, but the general motion for those uh, ought to be uh, that, that ought to be doable. So anyway, that that's what I'm going to go figure out next. So another another thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Lorenz. I was I, I want to thank you for again. I hadn't taken the time to think of when I was doing that awkward bend the line. Your square through three quarters to a bend the line is 
perfect to fit in there. And, and Tam Nations likes it too. <laughs> um, oh, thank you for having me anytime again. Like again, I apologize for the last time being not here. I did physical sports. I play tennis. But I enjoy this group and uh, proud to be part of it. And uh, yeah, see you next time, I guess. I, I'm, I'm really try and make the effort to join. In the winter time, it's more easier than in summer, but due to it's uh, five, now it's six o'clock p.m. here. I go out to some barbecue now with my wife. So that's the, <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the morning. Okay, no, thanks, thanks a lot. Enjoy. Let, let, let's. Oh, I forgot to do the end of the hour kind of thing. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming in, and a, a huge thank you to Lorenz for joining us, for giving up tennis. No, for joining us, and um, as I was saying, entertaining and making us think, and all those other things. Um, even though you were preaching to the choir, the choir was listening and, and putting some new harmonics and, and melodies. Uh, harmonies in there um we we really appreciate it and yes we've got to talk about the next next thing you want to do to to expand our thinking um thank you for coming and enjoy the barbecue for me <laughs> oh Lawrence, i'm just curious you're in the Karlsruhe area no frankfurt no frankfurt. more near mines in the triangle of mines Wiesbaden, and frankfurt Okay, so you're in Frankfurt. Okay, I I keep trying to orient where people are, and I'm learning slowly. <laughs> All righty, you're you're excused if you if you would like to go. Anyone else want to hang around and, and and talk about other related things? Um, I, I'm now in the. Uh... Go push checkers, except I've got a lot of stuff to do today. Kind of space. <laughs> Change your mindset mode. Yeah. I, was, I was mentioning earlier that we could, you could do, you know, Lawrence was setting things up for a right and left grand. Um, you could do the same thing just to get them to Alaman lefts. Um, I, another thing that, that could be done, uh, again, one of my mental image class students said oh you could do a wrong way grand from there and we pretty much figured out that any place especially with partner lines where you can pass through to an alaman left don't do the pass any place you can do an alaman left unpass through when you can do a right and left grand uh, a wrong way grand excuse me a wrong way grand um and that's another thing you might want to aim for. Again, the answers do it pretty easily. Taminations does it pretty easily. Um, and if we run dry on subjects for these sessions, we could just pick a call to analyze and 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 do this for for one or two other calls on a session. Right now, we've we've got a bunch of people lined up, so no problems. But. Um, food for for thought well have we hit that uh spot where we're uh i i, I think we have okay when we just hit, keep hearing from me i think we have <laughs> <laughs> well, well go hurry up and upload so i can watch it <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> cool and don't, well, don't rub think, it in I've been quiet because I've been playing with my checkers. This session has definitely got my mind going. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we don't need dancers. We can have fun without them, right? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, I I will uh, process this and get it uploaded as soon as I can, and then I will go back to uh, playing with my checkers and taminations. And 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 don't rub it in that you have um high speed upload but <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah i just got that it is so nice a lot of second hand internet yeah yeah it's okay. it's kind of amazing i was at my voice teacher's uh, house yesterday trying to help her do some stuff and uh, yeah it's a different world here cool as they said don't rub it in yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, but now you got to feed a second hamster. All right. I'm going to uh, go shopping so I can make lunch for this uh, potluck square dance over in the East Bay that I'm headed off to. I'll catch you all later. Take care, Dan. Thank you Thank all. You. Thank you, especially Bye. Lawrence. And uh, we'll talk about other things you want to share. It's, cool. it's that time of day, night, morning, whatever. Bye, Bye y'all. Bye, y'all.